Ma'am? Hi everybody, oh there you are, Captain Ken here. Well, today is going into the third week of our lockdown and uh, some of us getting cabin fever, so I thought today I might teach everybody how to make a decent martini. First and foremost, you need a martini glass, of course, and um, these things here, they're not martini glasses. These are for, uh, I don't know what they're for. This is a whiskey glass, that's for sure. Some people put alcohol in there or something like that and they call it a martini glass. You put flowers in that and you lose change in that, okay? So that's, those are garbage. These are martini glasses. I like this one, it's made of metal. It's really cold, really fast in your fridge. And these two are pretty much standard martini glasses. This one here, I bought it at Murdoch. That's got a nice little design on the bottom of it. It's really, really nice, feels good in your hand. So that's the glass. You gotta have a glass. Everything should be cold. Your glasses should be cold. Your gin should be cold. And martini, of course, uh, is a cocktail based on gin. And some people put olives in it or, or limes, or not limes, lemons. I don't like olives, so I use lemon. Any event, that's your choice. So there's a big rule here in martinis. One is just right, two is too many, three is not enough. We've had that problem here at 18 Tabor Crescent one or two times. So where there's a problem, there's a solution. And I've come up with a solution. So there's a nice fancy looking martini glass and uh, this will be fall right into the lines of one is just right. So pour it up, gin's cold, glass is all nice and cold and there you go you have it to there i garnish it like i said with a little bit of lime you can squeeze a bit of that lime right in there and well there you have it perfect martini one is just right cheers folks to your health and uh, stay safe wash your hands ma'am Good night, folks.